XDWC 2022 is now over and it's been one hell of a year. This video is going to go through the whole overall standings from round one all the way through to round five, including round zero in fact. I'm going to take a look at how, what went on, who won, who came where and how everybody did. The background footage for this video is going to be the random runs videos from Morris Offos. Uh, but for round zero we are going to be starting off with my video of my first run through. Round zero was supposed to be a tutorial type map, but it also had a sort of side challenge mode to it. A very difficult two minute long at the absolute peak map, which was taken by Mac Mac. Juhu came second, Thorek third, Malice fourth and Farius fifth. And we had on that one, we had 43 completions with Catfish only taking part in round zero. It's an incredibly good map. It's really challenging to do. I enjoyed playing it a lot. I think I'm going to go back to it and take a look. I didn't play it personally too much. And a lot of people I know didn't grind massively for it. Uh, just not wanting to burn out. But everyone who did play it, that was a good indication of who was really going. And who was going strong. From having watched Mac Max run, I'm sure that this can be taken sub two minute. And if it was a proper round, I'm 100% certain it would have been sub two minuted. But again, due to people not wanting to burn out, not wanting to put that max effort in, it wasn't sub two minuted. We move on now to the first proper round, round one. This was a very hard strafe map. Not hard as in finishing, but hard as in uh, you had to hit your strafes perfectly it's made by mirio a master of making everybody's hands hurt and it got to the point where even the top 40 were resetting runs if they didn't get a circle jump above around 550 at the end of this round dizzy with an incredibly clean crisp run took first place mac mac in second just a few tenths behind which is a hell of a lot for the speed of this run Knight in 3rd, Sulphur 4th, Juhu 5th, Ferrius 6th, Snow 7th, coming over from Defrag in Quake 3, Nero in 8th, Morosophos 9th, Vert 10th, Ecas 11th, PSJ Enco in 12th, Rainbow Shadow 13th, Malice 14th, Blackwolf 15th, Nature 16th, Clapsis 17th, Thilrek 19th, Ignatus 19th, Thoric 18th, Shirasaki coming over from Warsaw 20th. The slowest player to complete this map was Dr. Jasker, who put in a time of 1 hour, 59 minutes, 58 seconds, 0.92. An incredible time because the servers only last for two hours. The slowest time not taking the piss was goated with a 5 minute 58, 38. It was an incredible way to start off round one with a really good map that was easy to complete but difficult to master, allowing a lot of players to come in. We had 232 players in this round, which is an incredible amount. Round one's overall, of course, just mirrors what round one is because round zero didn't give points. Dizzy taking a fair little lead over Mac, Mac and Knight, but still definitely catch upable. It wasn't anything too incredible. He had subbed the second no one else had managed to do, but hadn't broken anyone just yet. Round two was made by Freddy. It was incredibly slick based and offered a lot when it came to minor routing. Your general route through the map was going to be the same, but even right from the start, you could choose to go a higher or a lower route. That would send you into a different place through the next section, an ant hole going over the top, going all the way around the top, so many different routes of which ramp to hit and which speed. Everybody was changing up their route throughout the week as their speed increased or they came through uh, on a different angle due to where they were hitting before. It was an incredibly good map and really improved my own technical skill and that of many others, I'm sure. This week, we saw Dizzy take the first place again with quite a lead this time. In fact, over a second, but the gaps were spread out. It was nearly a second between second and third. The overall goes Dizzy first, Knight second, Mac Mac third, Kool Aid fourth, coming over from Quake 3, but often plays Defrag in uh, Xenotic. Juhu fifth, Botferius, Vert, Clapsis, Sinity, Sulphur, Nature, Malice, Godino, Snow, Black Wolf, Banano, Mirio, Ploplo, Rainbow Shadow, and Morosophos. The This did shuffle up the overall quite a lot. This round caused Mac Mac and Knight to swap places. 
Juhu to bump up a little bit, and a few other shuffles around. Dizzy entered round three, commanding over 100 points on night. 161 to be precise. The rest of the race is very tightly packed at the minute though. Round three was our first weapon map from Ash, an incredible map which offered a lot in the way of routing, but also some new weapons that most players won't have seen before, like the mines. Often Xenotic is quite a strafe-heavy map uh, game, but the introduction of weapons in this XDWC has been fantastic. I really enjoyed learning more and more on the weapons. We really saw some different routing especially right at the end there was the option to use more rockets on a lower layer or more on a higher layer whether you were going to save some rockets to get you down a long straight that took you right to the finish or whether you were going to use those to get up quicker it was an incredible thing to watch the top 20 and see where time was gained and time was lost yet again dizzy took the round there was an incredible difference between second and third was three seconds but Dizzy just absolutely destroyed everybody. Only taking a little bit on Knight, but Knight had an incredible starting route, which took, cut out quite a lot of time. So we had Dizzy in first, Knight in second, Sinity third, Rainbow Shadow fourth, then Collapses, Thorek, Juhu, Ferris, Sirisaki, JH Height, Akimoli, Mirio, Vert, Morisophos, Banano, Nature, Ekas, Inside, Anime Girl, and Black Wolf. That's our top 20 for the single of the round. Due to the weapons, a few new faces actually came up. Jay Chait and Anime Girl coming up when they hadn't previously been in top 20s this year. Despite having weapons, this map was incredibly easy to complete for new players, but did force them to be introduced to weapons and give them options like the mortar right at the start to easily use that weapon to get up a set of stairs, which introduced a lot of players to the concepts of how weapons work in Xenotic. This round had 166 finishers, leaving us with 325 total entrants into this year. This map really shook up the overall. Mac Mac felt defeated after being beaten by Dizzy by so much the week before and dropped out this week. So Dizzy takes the lead with an astounding to over 200 points overnight. Then Juhu, Farius, Clapses, Vert, Sinity, Rainbow Shadow, Sulphur dropping some places, Nature, Morisophos, Theorek, Black Wolf, Ecas, Malice, Enko, Venano, Inside, J Height, and Mirio rounding out the top 20. The fight for the Lees now did look like a lost cause, with Dizzy just dominating so far. But inside the top 10 and top 20, there were battles going on, and all the way down the leaderboard, you could watch people gain places on each other. It was great to see so many people picking their own fights between each other, no matter how far they were down on the leaderboard. Round 4, and we're back to Strafe Heavy, this time with a technical Strafe map by Spike. Having us start with a drop down that made us... Uh, really work out how to get the most speed then to bounce over two sections of open lava round a corner up a ramp and carrying as much speed as possible once going round a corner then down hitting a ramp or not hitting it if your spacing would be to uh, take that onto some slick and slick as fast as you could into the finish this map was once again very easy to finish, but very difficult to master. And we really saw that as we got into the top 10, we saw people just not losing speed on the up ramps and certain people even trying incredible pipe tricks. Dizzy once again took the win, but not by as much as you'd think. Again, this map was very tight, but he did take a half a second off of night. Knight came in second, Juhu third, Ikas fourth, then Ferius, Rainbow Shadow, Collapses, Vert, Shirasaki, Marasophos, J Height, Black Wolf, Gordino, Enko, Ploplo, Fugo, Akimoli, Malice, Banano, and Nature. The switching back and forth between strafe maps, slick, then weapon, and then back to hard strafe really threw in a mix this year that meant that we didn't have the same people in the top 20 every week. And the people who were there every week really deserved to be. Nature managed to make it into the top 20 every week this year. As more rounds got played, the points gained were meaning a little bit less to which positions you could gain. Not so many people dropping massively or gaining massively, but a few people did shuffle around. We've got Dizzy now commanding 
well over 200 points on night. Then Juhu, Ferius, Clapses, Vert, Rainbow Shadow, Morris Office, Ecast, Black Wolf, Nature, Thorek, Enko, Malice, J Height, Sinity, Banano, Gordino, Shirasaki, and Inside to round out the top 20. Round 4 had 164 entrants, leaving us with 370 total entrants into XDWC. On to round 5. The final round. So far, Dizzy had absolutely dominated everybody. And unfortunately, on another weapon map, this was no exception. This map was fantastic. Probably the best XDWC map I have ever played, including Defrag World Cup maps from Quake 3. I think this is my favourite World Cup map I've ever played. It's an incredible branching path, multiple choices, heavily weaponised map. You could shoot spots to make more. Everybody had a different route for this map. Everyone had a little trick. As we went through the top 20, we saw pe where people gained, where people lost. Nobody, not even Dizzy, had a perfect run. But he got damn close being over three seconds ahead of Rainbow Shadow, while Rainbow Shadow and Knight, second and third, were separated by just two one-hundredths of a second. In the top 20 for this week, we have Dizzy taking the win, Rainbow Shadow in second, Knight in third, then Shirasaki, Ferius, Juhu, Clapsis, Thorek, Mirio, JH Height, Gordino, Lamvilla, Vert, Malice, Banano, Akimoli, Ploplo, Craven, that's me, Black Wolf, and Nature. I think one standout performance this year is Nature, having made it into the top 20 every week, but not being in that kind of top 10 of guaranteed top 20s, where you think even if they have a bad week, they'll probably still fall into 18th or something. Incredible performance from him. This week was a difficult map, but despite that, we still had 130 finishes, with the slowest of those being A2 Cat taking 24 minutes, 26 seconds, 0 0.08, which is a long time. But they did complete it and they did damn it. This leaves us with an outstanding total of 395 players this year. Many of whom completed every map or nearly every map. There's a lot of people obviously who played just one map and left. But a lot of people put some decent time into this XDWC and enjoyed it. And of course in the overall we have Dizzy at the top. Winning every map this year by an incredible margin. Dizzy is our 2022 champion. Knight Valiant Fight coming in second. Juhu third. Furious fourth. Clasps fifth. Love a Rainbow Shadow sixth. Then Vert, Theorek, Morisophos, Ecast, Blackwell, Shirasaki, J Height, Nature, Malice, Banano, Gordino, Akimoli, Sinity, and Mirio managing to make it into the top 20 despite his computer being consistently broken since round two. All that leaves is me to say thank you to the admins for organising such a fantastic event. Thank you to Ash who made round zero, Mirio who made round one, Freddy for round two, Ash again for round three, Spike for round four and Ash again for round five. All the maps this year looked incredible, felt incredible and I loved the back and forth between strafe maps and different types. No map felt like it used the same skill set as any of the others, which led to a varied top 20 and varied places around the whole, uh, the whole of the game. Really, a lot of people's internal fights, you look down that list, you see who's been fighting with each other each week and people were genuinely taking those fights. Me and Des had an amazing fight this year. So all that leaves me to say is that I'll see you on Relax Running or any of the other servers. Thank you very much for playing this year. Or if you didn't, I hope we'll see you next year. And if you did, I also hope we'll see you next year. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for playing the game. And I will see you next year with more videos. Cheers.